So why would a mother suddenly kill all three of her daughters? That's what Dr. Phil's talking about today, right? And this is what I mean when women, too, can suddenly go crazy and do unexpected things, but maybe not know why they did it or remember it totally, right? Now, I'm not blaming them, but like I said, I was asleep on the couch all night, right? <laughs> That's what I keep trying to tell you. I'm not around my stepdaughter at all at all. <laughs> you keep not hearing the pop, right? She's only four and in there with her mom, right? <laughs> I don't know how many times I gotta tell you that, but that ain't what even remotely could have happened, right? right? And I'm just having to figure out what you're talking about, right? The only way something might can happen, like I said, is real brief if she had to pee or something and they got confused about what was going on and she didn't act right or momentarily great. And I'm trying to help her pee and then she don't go pee and then I think she wants a bath and then I undress to give her a bath and then I realize, well, her mom's right there. Then <laughs> I come to myself again and I don't do nothing with her, but I'm confused, right? That's why she's in there, right? But I'm not trying to have sex with her, right? <laughs> to me, those are two different things, right? <laughs> and the reason why is I helped watch my sister, right? <laughs> when I was a child myself, right? From, I say, 12 till I joined the Navy, I was around the little girl, so I was thought like eight minutes most to one. And I know not to, um, engage her sexually, but like I said, if she came in there, and I'm not sure why, right, one of the reasons I would think is she had to pee, right, right. Well, if she's in the living room, I'm going to take off her underwear, right, <laughs> so she can walk to the bathroom and pee, right. I'm not thinking normally, right, but I'm still not going to have sex with her, but I might, if she don't go pee, Lay her on the ground and smell it right. right. <laughs> like you would change you some of diaper. <laughs> and now the problem with smelling her crotch area is with my ex wife, I did lick her vagina one time. <laughs> and so if I am smelling her, whether I'm being recorded or not, which is the only other way you can guess something could be going on, right, and know something could happen, and then that's Orwell's government there, right, is if I stuck my tongue out while trying to smell her to emphasize I'm not trying to lick her, but smell her, right, right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, if I smell her, she might need a bath, think she wanted a bath instead, a dress, right, right. And then come to, though, not masturbate to her, like I said in the book, but... And I'm not thinking rationally, because I don't know why she's in there even, right? <laughs> but I'm still going down a list of the two reasons she would wake me up, which has to do with peeing or going to the bathroom, because you'll see if a child's thirsty, they'll tell you I'm thirsty, I want something to drink, right? Or, you know, right. <laughs> if they're hungry, they'll say, I want something to eat, right? I guess, right. <laughs> and so I was trying to figure out what the hell you're talking about, right? Because I don't remember nothing happening, nor did my wife say that happened before 11 and years, right? And the only other person to have contact with her besides me and my wife was the biological dad, right? So what are you talking about? How do you know something happened with me and my stepdaughter when I'm having to make up what could happen, right? Now, I was mentally ill. <laughs> but that don't mean I would do something criminal with my daughter. There's a big difference of, you know, even if she's a stepdaughter, right? I was raised by my stepdad, and he didn't treat me like... Um, a bad stepdad, right? Or, you know, like you see these movies, you know, where the stepfather is trying to kill his stepson or something like that, right? <laughs> you know, right? Right. <laughs> I ain't saying that happened between me and him, but 
on the app direct and then I black out and that was because I was dropping my sim brother off somewhere and as far as I know uh, I don't even remember turning down the road I was supposed to drop him off on the right and see the, the weird thing is that both wrecks you remember something right? <laughs> so whatever happened happened down that road where I don't remember I mean dirt <laughs> I woke up in the hospital. That was at 16, which was in 1986. Right. That's when whatever happened to me when I was not yet an adult <laughs> as well started. Right. <laughs> if you have bad enough head trauma, but you don't know exactly what happened to right? and you still woke up in the ER and left the hospital in two days, that in itself is weird, right? right. So, you have to deal with how you wreck, don't remember what happened. You survived the car wreck, kind of like in Stephen King's novel, you know. <laughs> and then you're, instead of being in a coma for several years, you're in the, only in the hospital for two days. Right? This sounds like a Jesus thing, right? Or God intervened, right? right? So what would you think right, was going on if you're a 16-year-old child during right, right? uh, just out of, you know, right, maybe God was looking out for me even though I did something stupid maybe down the road and I don't know what happened, right? That's all you can think is God looking out for me, right? <laughs> well, if you had a dream, you saw the thought of God in heaven went that back that up and then you get into the Navy and these crazy people want to jerk off with you or something. <laughs> you don't know exactly what they're up to. <laughs> and the pastor makes a weird move at you and some guy tries to take a shower with you and then you go to another church started by a son-in-law. Right? And you're asleep and hump in the bed and they wake you up <laughs> wanting to jerk off with you again. Right? Right? <laughs> Three scratches, right? Three scratches, right? Three <laughs> And usually, I know something's going on. Right? <laughs> different than other churches I've been in, too. Not quite different. There was one incident where a camp counselor did make an odd move on a young boy, but they wanted to hush that up, too. Right? Kind of like the Catholic Church is doing about what happened with the young boys in their church. Right? So now, all of a sudden, everybody's touching little boys. Right? <laughs> They're trying to get with the boys. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's all in the church, too. Right. <laughs> well, that's because they're confusing the motherly figure of Jerusalem in heaven. Right. With a figure of the Virgin Mary and trying to make her some kind of permanent virgin. Right. Which is all.